Guys, the best way to stay out of trouble is to avoid trouble in the first place. And today's video is going to show you how to not get in trouble with the city or with potential rehab uh, buyers that you sold a house to down the road when they say you didn't pull a permit. And so a lot of y'all are jumping in the business and there's so much information coming at you from all different angles. And one of the biggest things I see people do is they start rehabbing houses and they forget that there's a city and a city permitting process and then they go flip a house, they do something, uh, they hired some uh, contractor under the counter because they were cheaper, they fix some plumbing and the plumbing uh, breaks and it gets the homeowner sick and then they're a massive lawsuit. So guys, you need to pull permits on everything you do and here's kind of the step-by-step -step process to understand how to do this. Remember, I'm not an attorney, I'm not giving you advice. Besides, every city is gonna be a little bit different but this is kind of the typical process by which you should, which you should go about going forward for most of you and most of your markets. Now, First thing you need to do, guys, to start the process, you need to get a scope of work. You need to go through the property, know everything you're going to do to the property, uh, but there will be some unknowns going forward. You may have an un, um, unexpected slab leak or something pop up or you pull the um, showers off, you find termites or mold or something like that, but you should have a pretty good base idea of what you need to do and you should take that scope of work after a contractor's looked at the property with you, take it down to the city, and what you're going to do is you're going to show them this and then you're gonna verify with them each and every permit that you need. Sometimes they make you draw a plot graph and show a, a kind of sketch of the house and where everything's located, where the walls are at. Sometimes they're gonna ask for certain other information. Every city's a little bit different, guys, but you need to go and get from them and make them give you in writing something that says, okay, based on the scope of work you provided, here's what you need as far as permits go. Then you apply for the permits. Some cities, guys, the permits are free. Some they're very, very low cost and some are quite expensive. It just depends on which part of the country you're in and which city you're in, but most of the time they're very, very cheap for the permits. What's expensive is paying for a licensed professional, which is why people avoid the permit process. They're avoiding the permit process not because the permits are expensive, because they don't want to pay for a very expensive licensed uh, professional, but guys, you need to do it right. Doing it wrong will bite you later, I promise you. Now, you apply for the permits and you pay for the permits if you have to, and then what you do is you're gonna get the permits and you're gonna post them somewhere visual. Most of the time, the best way to do it is right there on that front window, on the inside of the window, so that, so that everybody can see it from the street or when they walk up to the property. So now you're good to go. Then you need to hire a licensed contractor. And I know you guys right now, a lot of you, I'm not calling you out, but I know what goes on out there and what you're doing, uh, you probably shouldn't be doing that, guys. You're gonna get caught. If you're hiring these people uh, under the counter or you're hiring people that are going out there and taking somebody and they're going to pull the permits and then the unlicensed person is gonna do the work and that person's gonna sign off on it, guys. In today's moment, you see the money you're saving in today, right? The extra few grand you save today. You're not seeing the massive amount of money you're gonna lose down the road in two, three years when you have a massive lawsuit come your way. I'm not trying to scare you guys. I'm trying to protect you guys. Do it right pull permits, hire licensed professionals, and still even then you can have uh, mistakes happen, but guys, minimize them at all costs and do it right. Now you're gonna finish the work. Once everything's completely done, you wanna try to get everything done so you have one inspection, or you can do the inspections kind of as you go through and uh, piecemeal it, but it's easier to have it all done at one time. You call the inspector out, and you call them the set inspection time. Usually, usually they can come out same day or within 24 to 48 hours, and when they're done, as they approve it, or not approve it. If they approve it, they're gonna give you what's called a green tag a lot of times. Now this is saying your green tag, you're approved to go forward, you wanna document this, or you're gonna get something in writing from them that says city inspection, pass. You wanna make sure you always keep these for your records for later, so all the receipts of the work done, the scope of work that's done, and all the green tags and city documentation, guys, you need to keep together in a file or a packet or in some type of document, because at some point in the future, you're flipping these houses a lot, you're gonna have a run-in with some of these buyers down the road, you did some foundation work, and they're gonna come back and say the house is settling later, it's your fault, you hired a bad company, or you're gonna have some plumbing work that was approved and passed inspection, but it's gonna break the next day once they buy the house. So you wanna show that you had licensed work done, approved by the city, green tagged, you're good to go, so it doesn't fall on you guys. I hope you understand why it's important to use permits. Don't do it without permits, guys. Make sure you do it right. Always hire licensed professionals, pay a little bit more so you don't lose a lot more later. Hope you liked today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Share it around if you thought it was a good one, guys. Comment below if you have anything different that you think I uh, should talk about or didn't talk about or you think I uh, could be done a little bit different way. I'll see you when I see you. Have a good day.